Welcome to today's video. Today in this video, we will see about physical and functional addressing. For explaining this, I'll take an example of four issues. Let's say this is a steering issue and this is a radar issue and this one camera issue and this is body control issue. So each of the issues have physical addressing for request, functional addressing for request and then one candidate for response. So let's say for steering issue, it's 756, which is physical candidate. 7 double f which is functional canady and response is 780 and for radar let's say an example of 7 double 6 which is physical canady and 7 double f which is functional canady and response which is 7 double 4 and then for camera ICU let's take an example of uh, canady 789 which is a physical canady and 7 double f which is functional canady and response uh, which is 7 double 5 and for body control ECU, let's take an example of 678, which is a physical candidate, and 7 double F, which is a functional candidate, and the response is 689. And all these are connected via canvas to the tester or canalizer or customer tool. So if I want to communicate only with body control ECU, tester has to send 678, that is physical candidate. And ECU will respond back with 689. And if the tester want to communicate only with AMRA ECU, tester has to send 789, that is physical candidate. And ECU will respond with 755. Again, if the tester want to communicate only with the radar ECU, tester has to send 766, that is physical candidate. And ECU will respond with 744. And if I want to communicate only with the steering ECU, tester has to send 756, that is physical candidate. And ECU will respond with 780. Physical can ID or addressing is sent only to the particular ECU. If the tester knows which ECU has to be, which ECU is fault, and ECU can ID to communicate, then he can use physical addressing. Let's say he does not know which ECU has the fault, then he can use functional addressing, that is 7WF. When 7WF is used, this will be sent to all the ECUs in a CAN network. In our case, it's steering ECU, radar ECU, camera ECU, and body control ECU. And all ECUs will respond back with corresponding Kennedy. This is functional addressing. Explanation on a physical addressing. Physical units request are only sent to the single ECU on a network. Suppose already you know in which module or ECU the faults are happening, then the diagnostic engineer in the service center can directly connect to the ECU to send the diagnostic request. That is physical addressing and read the diagnostic data and uh, he can fix the issue. To achieve this, each ECU should have its own uh, ECU identification number. Functional addressing or uh, functional request is a broadcast type message which will be sent to all the ECUs on a network, which is ideally ideally a CAN network. In modern vehicles, a lot of ECUs are available based on different OEMs. Suppose the tester knows there is a fault in the network bus, but he can't able to find the exact fault causing the ECU in the network. Now the tester needs to talk to all the ECUs having the ECU fault code which is a DTC code in the network. In the vehicle, there will be a global ECU identifier which will be implemented in all the CAN receivers. So the ECU can receive the request and give the response to the tester. So this method is called as functional addressing method.